Hey everybody, this is Shachaf, and we've just released one of our biggest announcements to date, and I'm very excited about it, because Cody V2 sets Cody to a very exciting future. We're going to solve the one fundamental challenge that still exists on every public blockchain, privacy. And we're going to take all the good things that we already have and upgrade our infrastructure to a full-blown privacy network. We're going to do that at a massive scale as a layer two on top of Ethereum. Once ready, we'll have all the good things that we have in Cody today, like clients and private payment networks, global tier one listings, treasury, you name it. And we'll have a privacy network that is 10x faster and lighter than any zero knowledge network out there. And we'll do that over Ethereum so that we'll have access to liquidity and developers. So Cody V2 is Cody V1 plus privacy plus layer two scalability, plus Ethereum security and liquidity. But let's start from the top. Why privacy? Well, in the last decade, research was all about scale. And scalability is pretty much solved with layer twos and, and side chains and everything. I think it's now time to focus on privacy because nobody wants confidential information openly available on public ledger. Don't be fooled. It's a bug. It's not a feature. That was not the plan for public blockchains. And we personally saw that dealing with payments and enterprises throughout time in Cody. And look, it's not just me saying it. It's also Vitalik Buterin saying it, as you can see in the quote. And it's also Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, uh, saying that you know, in, in a presentation talking about the big ideas out there. So privacy is a layer two is one big idea. And look, it's quite like the internet that we all know and love. HTTP went to HTTPS, so we can have private and confidential information sent across the globe. There were, and still are, some attempts to solve privacy out there. We think and we know that we can do it better as we are now employing a technology that is 10x faster and lighter because we're doing it as a layer two over Ethereum and have all the scalability and access to liquidity that we need. And lastly, because we're not starting from scratch, we're starting from the current network that we have. This is a huge advantage over the market. With that said, it's important to note that we have also managed to achieve a research breakthrough that we've been working on for quite a while now, you know, behind the scenes. We'll be using a piece of technology that is called Garbel Circuits. Garbled circuits are a form of MPC, multi-party computing, uh, and we're using it, we're employing it in a way that wasn't done uh, before using top scientists, which we will unveil uh, uh, soon. This will make us, again, 10x faster and lighter than any other ZK solution uh, out there. It means that we can run on any device. It's a lot of things, um, and it opens up amazing use cases, you know, like confidential payments, DeFi, artificial intelligence, where data can be sent. Uh, for systems to learn, um, you know, in an encrypted way, marketplaces, healthcare, obviously, logistics, and a lot more. You'll hear more about it once we publish uh, our white paper. And, you know, who doesn't need privacy? But, okay, so we agree on privacy, by, but why are we building it as an Ethereum layer 2 and not as a layer 1 like others have done? Not successfully so. So, it's quite obvious today, you know, and, and we appreciate a lot of layer ones out there, you know, like Cardano, obviously. Uh, but Ethereum is where most liquidity and developers are uh, uh, today. Previous attempts to build a privacy network as a layer one were limited because there, were no, there was no liquidity out there. You know, liquidity kind of flows to uh, where the rest of liquidity is. Layer twos bring scalability, speed, and low transaction fees. So we needed to merge everything together and... Uh, having said that, we may grow to other chains in the future. But right now, the focus is to build a privacy network and do so as a layer two over Ethereum and kind of like have it all. Now, the launch of Cody V2 creates a completely new flywheel for Cody and benefits to all participants uh, in our network, including yourself. We begin with, you know, privacy, EVM compatibility, scalability, and low transaction costs as an offering. This creates new use cases, as mentioned uh, before. And this obviously creates a lot more network usage. And when the network is used, demand 
So the gas token increases uh, and more developers swarm into the network and so on and so forth. So this is what we'll be building. We'll be building this infrastructure. We've already started and we'll start pushing things as soon as this upcoming Q1. So we're pretty much there right now. DevNet, then TestNet, then Mainnet. We'll start onboarding developers and dApps. Cody and the Cody Foundation will be working fiercely on adoption all the while. While we do so, we'll continue to push what we already have working. We'll be pushing more PPNs on, on Cody. We'll be migrating these tokens and networks to Cody V2 once ready. Our clients migrating from Cody V1 to Cody V2 will have everything that they have today with Cody V1 plus privacy, which is amazing because you know enterprises that process billions in dollars don't really want to let the competition know exactly uh, uh, what and how, right? Everything else that is required to our success is also growing and it's also being taken care of. The Cody Foundation was recently announced. Uh, it will be spearheading education and adoption across the globe on our path to becoming a global permissionless network. The Cody tokens that you have will also be upgraded while they remain the gas token for this new network. We're keeping all this value. The Coty token economy will change as of 2025 to become more dynamic like other layer ones and L2s uh, uh, are built out there with incentives for developers, stakers, and, and much more. We're launching an ecosystem fund that will be put in place just like it is for Ethereum, uh, Solana, Cardano, and all the big players out there. To be clear, we aim to be nothing less than one of the big players out there. So let me finalize and summarize all the upgrades that you're getting with Cody uh, uh, V2, and you can see it uh, as well. In terms of scalability, we had scalability in Cody V1 with the DAG infrastructure, which we love, but we'll have scalability with Cody V2 as it's built as a layer two. Security is great in Cody V1. It will be great with Cody V2 as well. Privacy was not an offering we had in Cody V1. We will have it in Cody V2. And just to kind of like focus things, when we're talking about privacy, we're not talking about anonymity, one of these tokens, not. We're talking about confidential transactions. It means that you know that this wallet is interacting with that wallet, but you're not, you don't know what exactly they're sending, amounts, and so on and so forth. Smart contracts. We always wanted smart contracts in, in Cody. We couldn't have them in Cody V1, but we will have them with Cody V2. And we'll have EVM compatibility, which is huge, super important. Developers want EVM compatibility and, and will be part of the big world uh, when we have that. With that in mind, we're talking about you know, programmers. Solidity will be the language that we'll be using. It's widely uh, adopted out there. A lot of developers uh, already know Solidity. So this is what the language that we'll have with, uh, with Cody V2. Um, in terms of development, up until now, you know, Cody did all the development in the network uh, out there. Uh, it was very hard for third party developers to develop over Cody because the way we are structured and because you know, we've, be, we've been using things that are not very common like DAG and everything uh, else. With Cody V2, we'll obviously have our own development uh, efforts, which Cody the company is doing but we'll be open to third party developers and offer a stack for developers to build. So, you know, it grows as, as an open source uh, project. The use case for Cody V1 was always about, you know, payments. With V2, we'll obviously have payments and even better payments because they can be confidential, but we'll have DEXs, marketplaces, gaming, AI, healthcare, legal, a lot of things uh, uh, we're never been able to build in Web3 without having you know, a, a good way to handle sensitive data. We will have that in Cody uh, V2. In terms of client base, we're keeping all the client base that we have in, in V1 and grow it with V2. Uh, we're keeping obviously all the global T1 listings that we have. The treasury app uh, will be upgraded and move along with us uh, to Cody V2. Obviously the ability to mint tokens, if it was CMD on Cody V1, it would be uh, uh, a new standard in Cody V2. Um, the bridge that is required in Cody V1 will not be required in Cody V2. Uh, we'll streamline all the tokens uh, and we'll get uh, into that. You probably read that uh, in our article. Supply dynamics will be different. Today we have a rigid fixed supply. Cody V2 will have a supply that is either inflationary or deflationary depending on how the network uh, works. KYC, 
is today in Code V1 is mandatory on the protocol level. You can't really hold a native asset without doing KYC. That will no longer be the case, and people can hold Code V2 tokens without doing KYC. If specifically you're going to build a DEX or a payment layer uh, on, on Code V2 and you want to have KYC, then by all means you can, of course. But it's not mandatory. So this is the upgrades that you're getting. I think we can agree that it's quite a lot. Now, in terms of uh, roadmap, we have a full plan for 2024, which includes a major release every quarter, both on the technical aspects and on the business aspects as well. And, you know, we're already at work. So this is happening right now. Now, as you see this video, you're wondering what can you do right now? So I'll let you know right now that if you're with us right now, you already won as you're early on to Cody V2. I expect our community to grow as more people understand what we're building. Uh, and you can help with that, you know, with education, because you follow Cody and because you can, you know, spread the word. So um, what you should do right now is follow our channels, spread the word out there and get ready. Let's go.